Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you an overview of the observation diagnosis and treatment planning for dental. In this video, we will start on the diagnosis observation screen. The observation diagnosis and treatment planning chart is a graphical tool used by the dentist to organize essential information about the patient's teeth and mouth, aiding them during the consultation, billing and appointment stages. For more information in regards to the observation diagnosis mode, please refer to the observation diagnosis mode user manual linked in this video's description. Next, we will take a look at the treatment planning mode. Click on a switch mode button to change to the treatment planning mode. In the treatment planning mode, the dentist plans the necessary procedures and provides the patient with a cost estimate. For more information in regards to the treatment planning mode, please refer to the treatment planning mode user manual linked in this video's description. When the dentist has selected the tooth and clicked on an option, such as a filling, the selected procedure will automatically appear on the treatment planning invoice. For more information on the dental invoice, please refer to the dental estimates from the diagnosis observation screen user manual linked in this video's description. Next, we will go over the odontogram layers located on the dental sidebar. The odontogram layers will determine what information the dentist wishes to display on a dental chart. Dentists use an odontogram to keep track of information regarding a patient's mouth. Tick the observation diagnosis checkbox to display the observations and diagnosis information on the patient dental chart. Tick the treatment planning checkbox to display the treatment planning information on a patient dental chart. Tick the completed treatment option to display the procedures that have been completed on a patient dental chart. Some diagnoses and observations can be made by clicking on the applicable tooth drop-down menu to reveal additional information. For more information regarding tooth history, please refer to the tooth history user manual linked in this video's description. The user is also able to click on the add note option to make any additional notes regarding the findings. The quick note workflow event screen will open. For more information regarding the quick note screen, please refer to the quick note user manual linked in this video's description. Now we will take a look at the clinical notes section. All the invoices, estimates and clinical notes made for the patient will display under the clinical notes section with a date stamp, the user who created the note and the treating practitioner's initial and surname. Click on a quick note drop down menu located under the clinical notes section. Please note that the available options will vary with respect to the clinical event that was performed on the patient. The available options will now be explained. The view button will open and view the quick note the practitioner has made. The edit button will edit and update the quick note the practitioner has made. Print button is used to open the print screen and print the quick note. The email button will send the quick note electronically to the desired recipient. Click on a graph button to open and view the quick note in a graph style if applicable. Click on a delete button to delete and remove the quick note the practitioner has made. Lastly, we will go over the dental chart screen buttons located on the bottom of the screen. Click on a close button to exit the diagnosis observation screen without saving. To change the dental chart layout to that of a child's mouth, click on a change mouth to child layout button. Click on a reset button to reset and clear all tooth data that was captured during the consultation. An attention pop-up will appear asking the user whether he is sure about resetting the mouth and clearing all current tooth data. Click on the cancel button to return to the diagnosis observation screen without resetting the mouth. Click on the OK button to reset the mouth data and return to the diagnosis observation screen. To initiate integration with the specialized software of the practitioner such as an x-ray machine, click on the external program button. Click on the mic button to enable the voice recognition function which can be used to perform various actions for the practitioner. Hi, I'm here to help. You can say web change mode or say what option you want to choose for example you can say web 2 1 resin 1 b hover the mouse cursor over the mic button to display a list of available actions that the practitioner can perform using the voice recognition function click on the print button to download a pdf document displaying the observation diagnosis as well as the planned treatment click on a save and close drop-up menu click on a save button to save the information captured on a diagnosis screen Please note that the history button has now appeared. Click on the history button. The mouth history screen will open. 
On the history screen, the user can view a detailed record of the procedures performed in the patient's mouth along with corresponding timestamps. We will now explain the various columns in the mouth history screen. The date column and time will display the date and timestamp when the procedure was done. The action status column will be determined by when the new information was added. For example, insert will be displayed on an initial entry while update will be displayed when additional entries are made. The invoice number column, which serves as a unique identifier for the post billing, will display the estimate or invoice number for the specific procedure that was performed. The user column will display the username of the person who performed the action on the system. The teeth column will display all the details about the observation and diagnosis that were made and or the treatment that took place on the patient's mouth. Click on a close button to return to the diagnosis observation screen. Click on a save lines to new macro button to save the lines captured as a macro. For more information in regards to macros, please refer to the macros billing combinations user manual linked in this video's description. Click on a save and close button to save the changes made and return to the diary screen.